Hi all, this is Jewel here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are on Dragalia Lost in order to summon from the newest collaboration banner completely dedicated to two brand new units taken from the Fire Emblem saga. We have one new wand adventurer which name is peony peony is the fairy she is from fire emblem heroes and i'm sure you all know or at least you have already heard about this very popular gacha game and the other one is chrome he is more popular i think for smash he is a playable character from fire emblem just like ike or roy or lucina which is actually his daughter but his main role is the one of the protagonist of Fire Emblem Awakening and he's a sword, unfortunately a fire one. I'm definitely not happy to see another fire sword. I mean, come on, we already had Moth last year, which is a fire sword, Hunter Berserker this year, which is a fire sword. Please, Saigames, stop, we have too many fire swords. Try with another weapon, a dagger, a wand, but please, not a fire sword. Thank you. Well, enough said, now let's start with the actual summoning session. I have saved everything just for this banner and the next one that we will have like in a week from now, the Tiki one, because we will have also Tiki from the Fire Emblem Saga and Tiki is actually the character I wanted the most between uh, these three because I really like Tiki character, she's a marakete, she's very cute, she will certainly have some special mechanics with her dragon form because Tiki is actually a dragon but although I already stopped playing Fire Emblem Heroes when Peony uh, became a character so I actually don't know her I'm very interested in her, I want Peony more than Chrome because she's not only very pretty, I, I really like fairies. Her hair is very particular. I like like the braids, the strange braids. And uh, she's also very, very, very strong and a very important piece for the light team that I would like to build. Light is, uh, as for now, the weakest element of all, by far the weakest element of all. And my light team is unfortunately not very good because Malora and Mitsuide, and trust me, I've spent a lot for those two girls, didn't want to come to my Halidon. So I miss them and they are both limited. And I also don't have Gala Yuden, so my only strong uh, lightning adventurer right now is Gala Luca. I'm also thinking about uh, uh, training Fleur. Fleur is not as strong as Mitsuide but she's still a very good dagger and I also want to play Hunter Vanessa and so Gala Luca, Hunter Vanessa, Fleur, well the last member could be Peony and the Peony would be actually perfect for this formation. Peony is actually a pretty broken character she has like a godly coab 20% up for light damage for all the team is obscenely good and she's also a very good uh, uh, paralyzed punisher and support because she can paralyze the enemy and she has the punisher built in her kit she can also buff the entire team i think she's a very 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 strong character. She's probably the strongest light character at the moment because she's both a buff like Gala Elizan and an attacker unit, an attacking unit. So I would really like to find her. She's not only cute and limited but she's also very strong and I need her for my team. As for Chrome, I'm a little bit sad for Moth because I was afraid that Chrome uh, could be like a direct power creep of uh, uh, 70MC Moth, but uh, now we already know that that's not true. Moth and uh, Chrome can actually play together very well. 
because uh, Chrome is a beast if the enemy is afflicted and the best uh, flame uh, affliction is burn, so he plays really well with uh, characters that can burn the enemy and Marth can burn the enemy and buff uh, the team. So Chrome and Marth are a very good combo and I think we will see those two playing together in the Expert Volk uh, uh, stage because they are very uh, suitable for that particular stage. And let's not forget about Mars, the most broken dragon of the game, which is actually a fire dragon. So, so fire is still the second best element in the game. And this is the reason why I'm not really interested in Chrome, because Chrome is very good. He's a very strong adventurer, guys. I already uh, saw his like numbers and uh, uh, his skills and he's very strong. He's a very aggressive character, even if his co-op is not very aggressive, I mean HP, defense. It's a great co-op for Grace, but not for a normal, a standard offensive fire team. Chrome is not my priority because I have lots of good fire characters. And for this reason, yes, Chrome is in my wanted list because uh, I like the Fire Emblem Saga and uh, I would like to collect all the um, event character from this collaboration, but at the same time I prefer Tiki over Chrome, so if Peony uh, decides to show up before Chrome, I will stop the summoning session, wait for Tiki, try to pull for her, and if I uh, will manage to find both Tiki and Peony without going totally broken, at that point I will probably search for Chrome too, in order to catch them all, let's say. Oh, and the last thing I want to point out is the presence of Freya in my wanted list. You have never seen Freya in my wanted list because I have never really felt the need of having her, but uh, now Ciela's Wrath is real, I really like to play Tobias. Tobias is uh, my main wind adventurer and one of the uh, Dragalia Lost adventurer I like to play the most. But in order to play him uh, in a no healer formation in Ciela's Wrath Expert, I need to have Freya. And that's all. I also have uh, a full built up Hawk, and Hawk is like one of the best DPS for Expert Ciela, but Tobias is in my heart, so I want to find the dragon that suits him the most for that particular stage. Enough said, I have raised my PT rate to 5%, and 5% is usually my starting point for multi summons. I have one tenfold ticket and all the wormites that I luckily didn't have to spend on the Gala Mars banner. So uh, the first multi is not too shabby. I mean there's a golden sword at the beginning and a golden wand at the end and peony and chrome are a wand and a sword so maybe this is like a lucky sign from the heaven, I don't know. But let's continue 5.50% of uh, uh, PT rate. Second multi summon, no doves, uh, no rainbow gems, no golden fafnes, and only two golden spheres. Let's see what they are. The first is a dragon, and the last one is a wand, which has just become a rainbow wand in front of my eyes so yes guys it could be peony it really could be peony there was also a little bit of loading so this seems good i was praying from the bottom of my heart to get her without suffering as i did uh, during the gala mass summoning session that was like absurd and yes guys yes finally luck is here and we have the first 5 star from this Fire Emblem Heroes second collaboration and it's my lovely Peony! Finally, finally a freaking limited light adventure that has mercy on me! 
Thank you, Peony. You and Hunter Vanessa are blessed. Yuden, Malora and Mitsuide can go to hell. Thank you, Peony. You're my new best friend. I love her outfit. I love the contrast between the yellow and the green. And I'm noticing now while watching her sprite that her little braids have like two orange flowers at the end. Like her braids become two flowers. That, that, that's so special. I like fairies and I like nature, and so a nature fairy is always welcomed in my Halidom and in my life too. At this point of the summoning session, I was very satisfied with my peony, but since my resources were still very high, I decided to try for one more 5 star, one last 5 star, and so I decided to continue pulling for Chrome. So let's restart from 4% and let's go with the multi. 4% it's very low rate, but I was hoping in a miracle. And the miracle actually happened, guys, because here it is a 5 star from a 4%. I was very eager to know what 5 star it could be, and unfortunately it wasn't a sword, but it was a dragon. There's like very few dragons that I still need, but I was curious to know what dragon uh, the game sent to me. And yes guys, yes, this was like a total frigging miracle I got Freya. I literally got Freya the day after I realized that I need her to play my favorite wind character. Tobias, I love you and I love your waifu because Freya is like Tobias' waifu now. And I'm sorry for all the Lowen, Xania, Grace that uh, have uh, played with me since now because I think I will not be playing with healers from now on. I'm still talking about Expert Ciela, by the way. Freya would be capable of healing all the team without problems, and so I'm very happy because I have not only found Peony in this video, but I also managed to get the only dragon I really need from the normal summoning pool. And uh, that's all for this video, guys. I'm sorry if you don't like uh, chit-chatting during uh, summoning sessions, but uh, in this video I wanted to open a little bit more with you. I like to chat and I want to connect with my foreign public a little bit more, so let me know in the comment section what's your favorite Fire Emblem Heroes Part 2 character? Do you like Chrome or do you prefer Peony, Tiki or Sharina? I really want to know what's the general opinion of this banner. As a Fire Emblem fan, I'm not completely satisfied with this cast, but I'm not disappointed either. The only real disappointment is the, this tendency to split new characters into two different banners, which is what uh, uh, is going to happen with Tiki. Tiki will be divided from Chrome and Peony. And this is good for Dragalia Lost Revenue, because people uh, will spend more on these banners, but it's not good overall for the player experience. So that's all for now, guys. I wish you good luck. I wish you all the peonies and all the crumbs you want. And I'll see you in the next Dragalia Lost video. Have a nice day, good luck, and bye-bye! Uh,